recently and asked me if I could explain how to install BX fonts using the Embrilliance Essentials software. Um, as some of you may know, I've only had my embroidery machine just over a year and I use a Mac and I've been looking for software that I can use with my Mac and I came across Embrilliance and there's a free demo version. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you go to the Embrilliance Essentials website, I'll put a link in the comments box in the comments box below. Um, there's a free working version. It's a fully working version. The only thing you can't do is save anything. So you can put fonts into it, you can install new fonts into it, you can create in it to get you a feel for the software, but you just can't save your projects. Um, if you then want to be able to save your projects, obviously, and use it, you have to buy it. And it's relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of the embroidery software that's out there at the moment. So I'm going to show you how to install the BX fonts. And BX fonts, um, more and more digitizers are using these now. And basically, they just enable you to type a word and the word will show up in that font rather than having to drag in a letter, an individual letter in, say, a JEF, a JEF format for Genomi or a PES format, which I think is brother. But, but I'll explain what I'm talking about as I go along. So basically, I'm in Embrilliance Essentials and if I come up here, I want some text and I go to letters. Normally, by default, you get this ABC here in this box. And I'll just make that a little bit bigger. And your fonts are all here where it says font. And then if I click on this down arrow, if you ignore any of the ones that have got the needle next to them, because they're BX fonts I've installed. So when Brilliance comes with all these other fonts that have not got the needle. So you've got one, two, three, four... You've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fonts that you can use. So if I choose jazz, it's made that that ABC in the jazz. Now, if you didn't want to use any of these fonts that are in here, but you find a font on the internet, let's say, and you want to bring it in, basically what you would do, um, you'd go to a font, or a, a, an embroidery website. Now I found this, this website called Five Star Font Embroidery. And again, I'll put a link in the um, box below. And on here, under free, if you click on free fonts and designs, you'll see there's one here, um, there's some more here. And when you click on them, and you look at the formats that are available, you'll see there are all these different formats. And on this particular one, the teacher's pet font, there's a BX as well as a DST and a Husqvarna and a Jeff, which is a Genomi and a Pez, which I think is a brother, but it's this BX. So that's what you want to look for really. We go back to the free fonts and what I'm going to do, I'm going to download and show you how to install this one called Freaky Embroidery. So you click on it to select it. And then there's a, a thumbnail there and there's some shots here showing you how it looks. And then if you scroll down, there's a bigger version of how the font will look. And then you come over here to download. Normally what you would do, you'd choose your font format. So mine's a, mine's a Genome, which is a Jeff. So I'm going to choose that. But I'm also going to choose the BX font as well and download that. And I use a Mac, so they're just dropping into my downloads folder. If you use Windows, I think what you will do is you will click on them and it will give you the option of somewhere to save them. So choose your desktop so you know where they are. I'm just going to drag both these folders now onto my desktop so you can see because this is how you would normally do it with Windows. And first of all, I'm going to go to this folder here, which is the Jeff folder. So I'm going to double click on it to open it. And then inside it, you have all these different folders. So you've got Freaky Farm LG, which I presume is large, medium, small and Excel. So if we go for medium, 
double click on that folder again. Inside this folder, you've got all your letters. So you've got A, B, C, D, all the way through your alphabet. Okay, right through to Z. Normally, when you get a font like this, either a paid font or a free font, and it's not what's called the BX format, what you would have to do is if I wanted to type a word, let's say I want to type Hannah, I'd choose the H and drag it in, then I'd have to come back to the folder and find the A and drag that in, then I'd have to go and find my next letter, and then another N, then back up to A, and back to H. Okay, and then basically what I'd have to do is select each one of these and put them into position. Where am I? There's my ends. I've, I've, what I've done, I've picked up a, a mixture of upper and lower case here, but you get the idea. You have to bring them in separately and then position them. Get rid of that one because we don't need it. And that's how you would bring your Jeff fonts or your Pez fonts. Then I could bring them all together and I could resize them. I can click on, on, the, on the letters and, and move them around if I want to. Okay, but doing it with the BX fonts is a lot easier. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm kind of going to come to the BX folder. So basically what you do, double click, and then you find, in this particular case, you've got large, medium and small and extra large, but in, in some fonts, you might just have one BX folder or you might have two. You might have one that's got a satin stitch edge and one that's got a different stitch. So just for this, we'll just um, go with the large. So basically, all I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up this freaky font, large BX. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it onto my hoop here on my page. Now, I originally tried to put them up here in this objects box, but when I let go, nothing happens. So in my version of Embrilliance, I have to drag them onto my hoop. So when I bring it along, you'll see I've got the green and white plus sign now, which means it will let me install them. And then when I let go, it says the font FSS Freaky Font Large has been installed. So I click OK. Now, when I come to my text tool this time, and click on letters and I'll type Hannah and click set okay that's chosen the default font here but if I come to the arrow and then come and try and find freaky font large there it is and it's got the needle next to it so you know it's the BX font now if I click that watch what happens on screen it's changed it instantly to that font without me having to drag in each letter individually. Okay, so we'll try another one. I'll get rid of that and we'll go back to this other website and we'll see if there's another one. We'll try this one. So this is free lowercase stacked name font, this one's called. We'll click on it and see if there's a BX available and there is. We've got a picture of here of how it's going to look. We'll come to the downloads. This time, I'll just choose the BX font. There it is, BX font. Click it. It's going to put it in my downloads folder. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and drag it out to show you. Put it on my desktop so you can see it. Double click to open it. And then this one's got the same. It's got a large, a medium and a small. So this time we'll go for medium. So I'll left click on the BX medium, drag it onto my essentials hoop, get rid of this, say OK because it's installed it, come up here to my text, come to letters, I'll leave it on the ABC for now, and then we'll find our font we've just installed, stack. And when we change it, it's changed to that font. 
and those fonts will stay now in your essential software so you can call them up anytime you want so while this is still selected I'll choose this is another one I've installed and you can see it's changed it on screen so that's how you use and install BX fonts there's another one okay something else as well that you can look at while you're in Embrilliance I've just typed the word hello here and it's used um, I've chosen the, the default um, font that's in Embrilliance which is this first one here but what you can also do there's a little eye in a blue circle here if you click on this it will give you information about the font that you have chosen so as you can see the name is here the same as as chosen here and it tells you that this font is available in upper and lower and number and other punctuation it also gives you recommended sizes so it says on this one that the, the minimum recommended size is 11 milli and the maximum allowable size is 100 milli so um, you can choose different fonts and see different bits of information so if we choose one of our BX fonts that we've just installed so here's uh, Freaky Font Large it's changed it there and then if you click on the eye, you'll see that this particular font, as you can see here, because I've got a capital letter at the beginning, comes in upper and lower case and number. But if we go to one of our other ones that we've just installed, which I think was this one, Stack, this one, although I've typed my hello with a capital H, you can see there's only a small H. And if you click on the information box here, you'll see that this font is only available all in lowercase. So that's another um, useful, because if you type a word in here and click set, and it doesn't appear on the screen how you've typed it, because I've put a capital B, um, it's, it, it's not that something's gone wrong, it's that when you look in the information, the particular font you've chosen is all the lowercase font. So what you need to do then obviously is go along and choose a different font and see see that one's all capitals so if I click on that you'll see that one's all, all only available in capitals so that's another thing that you can do block font is a, a pre-installed font and as you can see there that's capitals and lowercase so this essential software is really good but just to recap basically if you download a font off the internet either free or paid for and you download it in the format that belongs to your machine so in my case a JEF format for a Janome I would have to go to the folder where I've downloaded that font and I would have to drag in each individual letter be it uppercase or lowercase for the word I want to stitch out. If the font is available in the BX format, you, you need to download the BX format, you physically install that font into your Embrilliant software as I've just shown you and then that font will be available here every time you open up your Embrilliant software so it's just like when you install a font on your computer to use in a word document or if you use a mac in pages it's the same kind of situation really the bx fonts are fonts that you can install within embrilliance and they will, they will be there available for you to use every time you call up embrilliance if it's not available in a bx font and it's just a jeff or a pez or a Husqvarna then you'll have to drag in each letter individually but more and more now um, digitizers are changing their fonts and some of them are even changing fonts that they've had on their websites for a while so if you've bought fonts from a digitizer go back to that website and have a look and see if the digitizer has made the font a BX version because I've read on the internet that um, several of them are allowing you to go back and log into your account and if you've bought the font off them previously and they've now changed it to a BX format they're allowing you to go back and download it in the BX format which makes it a whole lot easier for using so I hope you found that helpful 
Please like, share and subscribe and leave me any questions or comments in the box below and I'll see you in the next video.